President Biden has unveiled his latest budget proposal, and it's a big one, clocking in at $7.3 trillion in spending, which is theoretically going to be offset by some $5.5 trillion in tax hikes. Now, it's important to understand that this budget has basically no chance of becoming law. Really what it's meant to function as more than anything else is a campaign document for Biden's somewhat already damaged 2024 re-election run. And as you might expect from a document of that kind, it is absolutely larded with rich and tasty giveaways for various favored Dem constituencies, like, for example, yet another Biden administration student loan handout. In this case, a move to kill the origination fee, which is the fee that you pay simply to start up to take on a federal student loan. Loan. That move would cost $19 billion, give or take, over a decade. There's another big handout outlined. This would expand the current $2,000 out-of-pocket prescription drug cost cap which currently applies uh, to Medicare, that would be expanded into all private market insurance plans that would encompass some 189 million Americans. There are no hard details of how this might actually work or what it might actually end up costing, but it was in the plan. It wouldn't be a marquee Democrat domestic initiative, of course, without massive climate spending, in this case to the tune of some $23 billion, uh, $1.6 billion of which is earmarked for something called environmental justice, which no one really has ever been able to satisfactorily explain what that is. And then, of course, there's uh, the particularly and ugly ironic affordable housing move. So overall, this budget proposal lays out an unprecedented almost $260 billion for affordable housing and various programs. But one that I think is particularly worthy of attention is the $10 billion handout for what are called first-generation home buyers. These are home buyers whose parents do not own homes and who fall within a certain um, income limit. Nothing wrong with wanting, you know, as many Americans as possible to be able to afford a home, particularly a first home, and particularly if they are the first people in their family to buy a home. However, one of the main reasons that these buyers are currently locked out of the market are the absolutely sky-high uh, rates on mortgages that have been necessitated by the very kind of drunken sailor federal spending that the president dumped into our recovering economy early in his administration, touching off historic stratospheric levels of inflation, which the Fed then had to vastly tighten rates in order to try and control. So this is a classic example of a politician serving, as they so often do, as both arsonists and would-be firemen. Now, as I said before, this budget has zero chance of actually being enacted as is. It is kind of a campaign document. And that's precisely why Americans should regard it with great suspicion. It is a preview of coming attractions of what we can expect if Biden wins and if Democrats end up taking legislative control in 2024. And it should give everyone who's already been slammed by Bidenflation a bad case of the chills.